Unravel the mystery of a missing girl and a heartbroken boyfriend. Witness the lengths one woman goes to make things right in this emotional roller coaster. But first, am I the butthole for falling out of love with my wife after she took a seven week vacation? Posted by Deleted. I, 32 year old male, have been married to my wife, 30 year old female, for four years and we have been together for eight. She is a stay at home mom. We have Ulrich twins, one year old female, two year old male, which was incredibly taxing for my wife. She wanted a solo vacation break for a few weeks where she would travel different states, visit her high school and college friends, go to concerts, and do a lot of fun stuff. She asked if I would be fine with it. Asked if she could make it maybe a couple of weeks shorter, because seven weeks managing our two children alone sounded really daunting, especially since work was also getting taxing recently. I do work remote so at least that worked in my favor. My wife and I discussed for a couple of days, and I ultimately agreed with her that she did deserve a break because of what she has been through the past few years. And so she took her vacation. The first week managing our children alone was extremely difficult, and I did feel like I was losing my mind, but I survived. My sister came over to help me from the second week on, she was honestly a lifesaver, and I will be eternally grateful for her. I never directly asked her to help me, but I guess I indirectly did because when she video called me the end of the first week I basically broke down in tears. So from the second week on, my sister stayed over at my house to help with my children, and a huge burden had been lifted off my shoulders. I also was really able to focus on work and meet my deadlines. To be brutally honest, I did not miss my wife at all. I was emotionally and mentally relaxed and also had a lot of fun with my children and my sister. I felt a sense of betrayal that my wife had actually gone through with the seven-week vacation. I slowly fell out of love with my wife. When my wife came back from her vacation, she was super refreshed and recharged, but to be honest I was a bit indifferent. My wife tried to initiate sex the first night she came back, which I rejected because I said I wasn't feeling it. The subsequent days, I had the same level of indifference in our day-to-day -day life, and she probably noticed it but didn't say anything. A week later, she asked me why I was like this, and I told her I don't love her anymore. She apologized for taking the seven-week vacation, and asked if there was anything she could do to fix it. I told her no. We pretty much went through the motions next couple of weeks, before I finally decided that I wanted a divorce. She seemed devastated when I brought up divorce, which surprised me because I already told her I don't love her anymore. She asked if we could do couples therapy or marriage counseling first before I started looking for a divorce lawyer, and I told her I needed some time to think about it. I spent a few days thinking about, and I am still leaning towards a divorce, because I basically don't love my wife anymore, and I don't think marriage counseling can fix it. Am I the butthole for falling out of love with my wife because she's seven week vacation? And now to the update. Update. Am I the butthole for falling out of love with my wife after she took a seven week vacation? I posted my original post last night and went to sleep immediately after. I have deleted it for anonymity sake, but it was preserved here. And now to the next update. I woke up this morning, spent an hour reading the comments and decided that I at least owe it to our children to try couples therapy before considering divorce. I told my wife of my decision and she was really happy about it. But I also told her I don't expect too much to come out of it because I just didn't love my wife anymore and wasn't sure if couple counseling would fix that. I want to clarify a couple of things. Money was not an issue, I am lucky to be working in a high paying, albeit stressful job. It really didn't bother me how much money my wife spent on her trip. The main issue was I was emotionally and mentally overwhelmed managing two children while I was also working full time, albeit remote. My wife was also specifically against daycare for personal reasons. By the end of the first week I had lost my sanity and basically broke down in tears when my sister video called me. My sister had enough time to come over and help me from the second week on, and she really wanted to because it gave her a purpose in life. She has no plans to be in the workforce, and she is pretty much set in life because of my father's money. I did ask my father to not leave any money behind for me and give everything to my sister because I was already in the workforce and had a good job. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. It's concerning that the husband fell out of love with his wife after only a week of managing their children alone, despite having a supportive sister and a high-paying job. The length of the vacation may have been a catalyst, but it raises questions about the depth of their relationship beforehand. Am I the butthole for uninviting a girl for my boyfriend's birthday party without him knowing? New update. Posted by Deleted. I am new to Reddit. My boyfriend, 28-year-old male, and I, 27-year-old female, have been together for 8 years and are in a pretty serious relationship. 
Recently, my boyfriend joined a new course where he is getting extra training to be suitable for a job role he has applied for. He has been talking about this girl, 22-year-old female in his class. He says she is quite but kind and has anxiety issues and was talking about an incident where she ended up crying in front of the whole class while presenting. Apparently after that incident my boyfriend approached her and offered her help before the next presentation. So since then they have been working together and my boyfriend mentions several times that he feels something is wrong with her as in she would constantly shake, would not sit next to him, would startle really easily. My boyfriend told me how she finally confided in him. She told him she was arped by her brother when she was young, and when she told her family they never believed her, so the abu continued for years until she ran away from home. I felt sorry for her, but I found it weird that she told my boyfriend all that information, as if she was trauma dumping. For the next couple of days my boyfriend became more close to her. He invited her to the house to work there. I admit, she is a beautiful girl. When my boyfriend introduced us she started being weird and complimented a lot. Like, a lot. Saying things like you are more beautiful than what he describes and he is so lucky to have you. I found that very weird from her. Two weeks ago we were planning his birthday party and my boyfriend decided to invite her too. I told him it was a bad idea and that she could end up having a panic attack at the party which will make everything awkward. He didn't listen and he invited her. Few days before the party she calls my boyfriend and I pick up the phone because he was in the shower. She said she called to ask what the dress code was and that she was excited for the party. I told her then that I think it was best she doesn't come and that it will only cause awkwardness if she ends up having a panic attack. I told her that I found it weird that she was getting so close to him and telling him information that normal people would think twice before telling anyone. I told her which I am not proud of that just because she was roped doesn't mean she can get away with acting for attention. I admit I was harsh but she was acting cute and innocent. She apologized and cut the call and didn't come to the party. Now I feel bad because my boyfriend recently told me how she stopped talking to him and that she hardly stays in class anymore. He said he saw her crying that day and when he approached, she didn't say anything and walked off. He said he is scared he may have done something to upset her. I don't think I did anything wrong, I just think I was harsh, but she needed to know she was crossing her line. I am more upset that my boyfriend thinks he did something wrong. Am I the butthole? And now to the update. I, 27-year-old female, have ruined my 8-year relationship with my compassionate boyfriend, 28-year-old male, by being petty to one of his friends. I posted on Reddit a couple of months ago and received so much hate. I was rude to one of my boyfriend's lady friend who was a victim of child RPI. I won't go into details but I was worried my boyfriend will leave me for her because of how nice he was to her. I am not a bad person, but I was called all sorts of names by people. I admitted in the post I was harsh on the girl but didn't think my post will end up in am I the devil forum. I told my boyfriend the truth of why his friend wasn't talking to him and his reaction broke me. He started crying and saying how I could be so cruel to her and him. He said he was only helping her because he aunt was also a victim who suffered all her life till she decided to stop fighting. He said he could never and would never think of leaving me for another woman because he loved me a lot. I cried with him and told him how sorry I was and I wanted to apologize to the girl. He said she has left hasn't come back and no one knows where she is. He said he tried calling her but her number comes as invalid. He said he tried asking around and no one knows where she is. He is afraid for her and now so am I. I am scared that girl might have done something to herself and I can't live with that. My boyfriend has since said he wants a break and called me yesterday and told me he wants to break up. He said if after 8 year relationship I can't trust him then I never can. He told me he was planning to propose me on my 28th B-Day, but he thinks there is no point in moving this relationship forward. I am heartbroken and I've tried to reason with him and begging him for a second chance. But he said he can't be with me anymore and can't look at me with love. I am heartbroken and shattered. I ruined my relationship, possibly have caused an innocent person to fall in harm, and I can never live with that. I feel guilty and angry at myself for getting my feelings in the way. I wish I could find that girl and apologize, and I wish my boyfriend changes his mind, but both seem unlikely Adamel. My mom is trying to console me but my sis is being harsh and telling me the only one to blame here is me. I don't know who to talk to, because I know the reaction will be the same everywhere and everyone will have the same judgment. I wish I could turn around time and change things. Hash hash new update. Nov 28, 2023. No, I am not a troll. No, I don't want attention, and yes I keep coming back here because this is the only place where I can stay anonymous and can get response from people without knowing them or knowing me. So I tried again. I started searching for her, and I left a message for my ex-boyfriend to help me look for her but he doesn't have to. He however decided to help me. 
He said he left a note for the university and contacted the local authorities about her, but he didn't actively look for her because he already had caused a lot of issues and didn't want people to get the wrong idea like I did. We asked the authorities and the university if they found anything. They couldn't find her. She did not withdraw from her course, but she had stopped coming to workshops, wouldn't answer their calls, letters, or emails. Police went to her place, it was locked up, her neighbor and landlord said they haven't seen her since April. She did not contact her landlord about her leaving the place, but left her chain behind to pay off the rent she had due. We went to her place but now it has been rented out to new tenants. She didn't have any social media except from WhatsApp and Snapchat. We don't know where she is and I don't think she is coming back either. I just hope she moved on somewhere else and somewhere better. My boyfriend is still upset, he still says he loves me, but he just can't get his head through my trust issues. He showed me the ring he had bought to propose, he still has it and now my hopes are high. I hope he goes past this and we can get back together. I told him if he wants I can alert the authorities about her past and they can contact her family. He told me absolutely not to do that since we don't know whether she wanted that or not. I have been really trying to win him again. I love him a lot and I know he loves me too. I have been doing a lot of charity work for the past couple of weeks to ensure him I am a good person and that I had only made a mistake which I regret. We have only started talking again and even though it's bare I know I can win him over. He has since moved in with his parents again and now nearly done with the course. He will start working next year September, once he gets the certificate. Every year we spend Christmas together, but this year we won't. We didn't celebrate Halloween together either and I feel heartbroken. My cis behavior has not changed towards me either. I feel very down and lonely. I feel like I have no one to turn to and no one to share my thoughts with. I don't want to go to my friends because I am afraid of being judged. I have only talked to my one best friend who I trust, and she even said that I can't do anything to change what happened, and instead of crying for him, I should just leave him be. I just dearly hope all of this will change, and we will get back to how we were. I also pray the girl is okay, and has found the help and support she needs. Do not contact the OPs or comment on linked posts, remember, Rule 7. It's concerning how quickly the situation escalated and how the boyfriend seemed to become overly involved with this girl, despite the OP's concerns. It's important for both partners to trust each other and maintain healthy boundaries in a relationship. If you want more of this content, consider subscribing because we post new Reddit stories every single day. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Have a miavelous day and see you in the next one.